How do you personally tackle boredom when you don't have access to electronics? How do you personally tackle boredom when you don't have access to electronics? Read a book. Draw paint. Nap. Take a walk. Go somewhere with friends. Those are great suggestions. I also like to do puzzles write in a journal cook or bake something practice a musical instrument or engage in a craft or DIY project. Sometimes I'll also just sit and observe my surroundings people watch or simply let my mind wander. It's amazing how much there is to do and explore without electronics. Seconding read a book. Kill so much time and you feel excited if it's a good book. I journal. I even write letters to my mom who passed. It comforts me thinking she may be able to hear me knowing I still think of her. Maladaptive daydreaming. I have a maniacal fluff ball who is committed to finding new and creatively destructive ways to distract me from sanity. Nature. I like to create shadow and characters and build their backstories. Masturbate like a chimp on speed. When I don't have access to electronics? That basically never happens, but even when I do have access to electronics, I actively seek out being bored. My favorite is on a train. I'll tilt my head onto the window, feel the vibrations of the train, we have good trains here, and watch the world zip by, and get lost in my imagination. Imagining new stories, new scenes, walking around a fantasy land from the privacy of my own head. It's where I get part of my inspiration from. Beat off then sleep. That's an easy one. Don't do drugs. This is funny. I use electronics for boredom. Go for a run or for a hike. I like to crochet, do crossword puzzles, read of course. But you can't always read, it depends on where you are. And I also like to look out of the train window or watch slash listen to things that are going on in hospital. Go out and hope to come across something entertaining. I stare at the wall or the floor. Reminisce about times where I did have access to electronics. I build Lego. It keeps me entertained. Imagination. I either draw, read or just talk to someone. If you found this video funny, then smash the subscribe button. Complete a jigsaw puzzle. Go to sleep. Try to dream about electronics. Obtain access to electronics. Daydream, books, having imaginary discussion with the people in my head, killing myself with an imaginary knife, try to access a mind palace that was destroyed years ago, if I have friends around I will play games with them or have real discussions with them, and sometimes I write down my thoughts and feelings just to make myself feel better. Play guitar, build, paint or draw something. I'll read the writing on the back of the air freshener can until I'm finished. I take naps. Read a book. Play a single player card game. Go out for a walk, shoot a basketball around. Go to the gym. Take some martial arts classes. Ride a bike. Skateboard. Rollerblade. Cook or bake random stuff. Daydream, play songs in my head. Journal, read a book. Go for a walk, play a board game, play D and D. Invent a game with friends on the fly. Doodle, coloring books for adults. Try to start a conversation with someone nearby. Walk. Books, puzzles, coloring book and crayons. Visit a park and have a nice walk and picnic. Go to the zoo, a museum. So many options if you think about it. Books, jigsaw puzzles, solitaire. Puzzles. How could I forget? I frackin' love jigsaw puzzles. Used to have a puzzle table but cats ruined that. Sifoku, it's amazing how much time I can burn through just doing these silly little puzzles. They are like mental bubblegum, or bubble wrap, for me. Asterisk Sudoku. I've cats. Cats are stupid. It's so much fun watching them be stupid. Sometimes it beats the electronics. Masturbate. Two, it's this thing called imagination. Do they not sell physical magazines anymore? Ooh, I shall the said bookstore. Sleep. 
hang out with my family. I do this a lot whenever we have a cookout or something. I make a plot for novels. Booping the like button to show your support to us. I draw or go for walk. Keep busy. I like to clean so I usually go for that, but if I'm not in the mood or nothing to clean, I will draw, read, walk, go outside, daydream. Masturbate. Personally, I like to sit in bed and think. Alternately, I sort through my socks. Clean, woodworking, draw projects, do got a few go to books for stuff, polish belt buckles anything to keep the hands busy. Work on cars, archery, guitar, blacksmithing, build guitar pedals, tinker on random stuff. I'm ADHD man, I'm rarely bored. Ride my motorcycle. Take a nap. Journaling, writing. Book of Sudoku puzzles and a mechanical pencil. Read a book. Read one of those graphic novels I bought but never read. Imitate voices you have heard on TV or movies or video games or real life, then make up your own voices and say ridiculous things in a weird voice. Lightly scribble with a pencil on a blank sheet of paper without looking. It helps if you cross a line multiple times, then trace darker around objects or faces you find, like looking for animals in clouds. You can also draw variations of shapes you found on another paper. Look for faces in everyday objects, or patterns in blankets, or carpet, or wood grain, like you'd see on our face in places or our face in things or our pareidolia. Go on a walk. Look for smooth rocks. Pick up litter in public. See how many different insects you can find. Work out. Play Klondike or Clock Solitaire with a real deck of cards. If other people are around, Play No Limit Texas Hold'em with a deck of cards. Board games like Stratego, Rumikub, Scategories, Clue, Forbidden Island. Party games like Taboo, or Mafia Werewolf, or Codenames. Play with a cat or dog. Make a recipe you have never made. Think of a four-letter word. Then change one letter and make a new four-letter word. Go to a restaurant you have never been to. Browse around a library. Browse around a store. Being of Gen X, this is easy. Go the fuck outside. 1. Reading a book, just to let the imagination run wild. 2. Staring out the window, taking a walk in nature. 3. Sleeping and letting the dreams entertain me. Read, sing, redecorate my room. Books, man. They are a wonderful invention. Talk to myself. I usually practice what I'd say in imaginary scenarios for a few hours before I realize what I'm actually doing and then I'll just run around in circles. I find both cooking and doing hours chore are very meditating. Go for a walk or if it's night I'll play guitar or make a very intricate dish to eat. Books. Read. The good old bouncing a ball. It brings me joy. Either my ADHD kicks in and I become extremely hyperactive, or I become extremely inactive. I can't fathom which takes place. Art, drawing, painting, origami, etc., gardening, walking, playing with my pets, baking, read, study homework, conlanging, see friends, go out, visit museums, parks, etc. Lots of things to do. Long walks and diet coke. I do fiber arts like knit or crochet. Nap. Read a crap tone of books. Clean my house. Crossword puzzles. Work outside in my property. Books, lots and lots of books. And there is also the learning and practicing of skills, useful skills, survival skills of the fix everything type which just happens to be in books, lots and lots of books. Of course, you do have to keep idiots away from throwing them away or burning them since there are those that want power and control and leaving you with only one book to read as the only source of knowledge. N. Shadows Clean Walk to the park Breathe Go to somewhere with water, a lake or river, 
and soak in the beautiful area. Look at the sky. Fix things that need fixed. Laundry. Dishes. Whatever work and chores. I actually enjoy all of these things. Smell a flower. Talk to a neighbor. People watch at Starbucks.